Uh, Rod Roberts. I'm pleased to see that it's come down to a cancellation rate of 4.2%, but, Madam Deputy Speaker, one swallow does not the summer make, and this service has been letting myself and my constituents down for a prolonged period of time. I wonder what, what can the Secretary of State say in terms of what he'll be looking for in this six months, and will he be able to publish the precise metrics of what he considers a success to allow it to be refreshed in the future? Secretary well, State. a couple of things. Look, I, I don't disagree. I, I said in my statement that the performance uh, had been poor, uh, but they have made improvements. It will be, it will be a combination of their punctuality and, and timekeeping, and whether they hit their on-time performance, their cancellations, uh, how easy their customers find to deal with it. I'll also have to judge it, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, based on what's going on in the industry. Uh, I can tell you, it'd be much easier to judge the performance of train operating companies if their staff weren't going on strike, which is why I think if the RMT put their deal to the members, we can resolve the industrial dispute. It'll be very clear then, it'll be very clear then about holding management to account, because that will be the only thing left that we can focus on. It's very difficult holding management to account when their workers keep going on strike and disrupting the service for passengers. Jeff Smith. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker.